So let me show you what's going on right now and why we have to lerp. So what's going to happen is I have the squirrel and he lands and he can go around the scene and he can jump, but he can't turn around when he jump. You know, you like if I hit A, he's not turning around. Also, he's floating, which tells me that he's bigger than his box. So let me kind of fix that out. So here's my plane, here's my box. And in order to rectify this, I have to take him off his box just for a second and place the box further down or the player up. So probably the plane up at this point would be better. about where it should be so let me look at the planes make sure no none of the planes have mesh colliders on them and that's what happens there we go so no mesh colliders should be active on those so let me hit play see if the squirrel falls to the floor and it does isn't that freaking ridiculous I love it okay that's what I'm talking about he can't rotate around so that's what's lerping. So if he's switching from direction to direction, and that affects so much stuff because if you can't lerp, you can't um, shoot the other direction. All right, so that lerping code. Let's make some JavaScript. I'll call this uh, lerp example. And what lerping, uh, what I'll have to do is I'll have to go in here and get this. It'll save me some time. So all I need is this function update. And this is on the side scroller because it has the if A and then if D key gets held down. I'm going to copy that and then go into the lerp example and just paste that in. Okay, that saved me a bunch of typing. All right, I don't need this, and I don't need this. Also, I need some variables. So, a variables, first one, is a variable from, transform, Another one, two, and another one is speed. At what speed does the lerping take place? There we go. All right, now. In order for the lerp to work, let's go down here. And what I need to do is do a transformation, transform period rotation equals. Okay, so let's do that. This is a very long statement, so we're only going to type it once. Transform period rotation equals. Quantirion. Period lerp. Whenever you see Quantirion, it's a very highly structured thing where it's it's calculating the rotation and placing it into a very um, abstract number system. So that's basically how it goes. It gets a little, I can explain it later on a little bit easier, but for right now, know that lerping will not work without it. And it's part of the lerp system. That's why you see 
uh, Quantirian period lerp. Okay, two rotation. And then time period time because I'm stating what time is. And then that's going to be time speed. There we go. And I want that very same statement right here. And I'm going to reverse two things. Instead of from, it's going to be to. And this one's going to be from. Just like that. Okay, save this out. And let's attach it to my plane. And let's save it. And in the next video, I want to show you the setup process for this.